being downhill. Let's not turn to the right. All right, people, I think that's it for my RCN this weekend over here. I think I'm going to go back to ATV and eating and probably taking a dip in the pond. So let me just show you. I was having fun with this before. It was great. The wheelie bar is hilarious. It's funny. You can ride it and you can ride wheelies with it. Um, I did run this yesterday a little bit, not on video. We ran it today a little bit back and forth. Um... The first thing I noticed before anything yesterday is a weird sound from the transmission. So I, I think it's eventually it's going and I think it actually just went. All right. And this is why. <clears throat> All right. And the steering still sucks on. Uh, I'm going to try to put my endpoints to full power to the right. See if that helps a little bit. Steers pretty good to the left, but to the right it still sucks. I just got to do an overhaul. Uh, on this and since I'm gonna do an overhaul on this I might as well just replace the chassis put the chassis I want put the rear plate that I want that I wanted right from the beginning that I have not done yet and, and That's it. So this this Broven engine for sure is a beast. It's a Roven head Bartolona engine read case now This is not the engine that's gonna be coming out, right? This is a test dummy. He's like just run it try to blow it up just run it and it has not blown yet i don't know it's if it's because i'm using dominator oil or, or what but i got a uh, wonderful rear chassis plate to put on here it's no flex they're awesome um you'll see that in a future build uh and that's it so i'm not gonna go all out with this you know usually i'll do everything you know bearings and this and that every little thing i'm not gonna do every little thing i'm gonna reuse uh what i can and just go with it because this is my beater i just want to i am doing a big mistake putting a lightened chassis on here but i will put the stainless steel heavy ass plate up front <laughs> dave you hit it huh? yeah. <laughs> i will put the the heavy duty chassis plate up front hopefully that'll protect that beautiful chassis that i like from roven uh so anyways about this engine my wife just called and messed up my video a little bit this engine is not the one that's going to be sold all right so the one that's going to be sold is going to be better than this and take a look at this beautiful crankcase all right it's, it's going to be a, a different crankcase than this reed case none of that piston port bullshit none of that newbie beginner stuff all right
my man spent a lot of time designing that and making them. All right. And when I say my man, I mean my Chris Bartolone, our brat brother. There's a reason why his engines are always sold out and pipes are always sold out. There's a reason behind that. All right. Reason is, if it works, people stick with it. If people are happy, people stick with it. If you want the next level, all right, from an RTR or from a piston port style engine or for from a a, a you know once you start with a chung yang or a roven engine or a king motor engine or an uh, you know sometimes most people they'll go to an obr engine you know they'll get the their first modified engine obr engine which is great they do great work as well but then you know there's some other guys that want something different you know something unique they'll do like a scott finley engine and then there's some guys that want something that you know want something another level you know like a um, something different as well and another step and they see people winning races all the time and you, you there you go Bartolone racing you know what i'm saying so you, you you get my drift right so you got to give credit to the man does good work no questions I right, has the best velocity stacks out there he's got the best shit you know it's just quality stuff he makes the, the pipes are great everybody that wins races that have modified engines prefer bottle pipes yeah it's, what can i say there's nothing else you guys already know I, there's no need for me to talk like this to speak like this but i, I am because it, I, it's just there it, it's just what i've seen it's what i see what you see we all know about this you know what i'm saying so anyways here let me show you what's up with this and the reason why i can't beat the shit out of this max t anymore i wanted to jump it i wanted to run it i was gonna jump that pond there where i jumped my teal off 4.0 truggy no not this not this jump but that jump and if i was to bend an arm so be it all right but those were my intentions was to get on this thing but uh this engine is full of debris it's full of grass in there so who knows it's, if it's i'm sure it's running hot as hell but we're still running good something's messed up with, with the with the transmission so let me just show you guys Moving, something's up. So that don't sound good. Something just locked up. Uh, well, it's a good sign and it's a bad sign. Good sign is the engine's got some balls, but you got to give the credit and credit is due. This transmission has held up. All right, uh, it has held up for a while, man. It's been beating the shit out of these big ass heavy wheels. It's been through a stock piston port, and it's been through a lot with this, a lot of testing, people, with this engine. I had 990 carburetors on this. I had different velocity stacks, and now I'm running the 1107 with the Bartolone velocity stack. You guys uh, know of this. Um, stock clutch, stock spring. So there's no high RPM spring yet. Um, I, when I go over this, I will have that. But... I don't even know if I'm going to reuse this engine. I might as well just wait. I might as well just wait for um, the real Broven engine to come out. Because you got the new recase. The real Broven recase. This was the test dummy. The new Broven recase is going to have the same reads as the high-end BR40s. Just to let you guys know. It is not the same as the 30.5s. It is not the same as the 32s and the 34 engines from Bartolone, okay? I can't wait. I can't wait to get my very own all-new Broven engine. Now, this was something that actually took time away from Bartolone. Bartolone's busy. You don't need to do this. This is something that I had asked him. I had asked him. I had asked him to do it. This is not something that he wanted to do. Chris, can you do it? He's like, no, I'm not going to be messing with them Broven head. I'm like, Chris, can you please do it? Do something like that. 
and uh, he did it originally all started with a pipe i'm like chris can you make me a, a pipe i want a pipe can you make a pipe for this 45 cc engine and boom he made us a pipe he was already thinking about making a pipe that's going to work best with a reed case and yes it will work with a piston port but it's going to work best with a reed case and then boom came out with this bashing wise all right in this max t this heavy ass baja platform this has got to be probably one of the heaviest baja platform you understand because bajas are usually the lightest rcs but this is a heavy beast right here all right it's a big ass it's a lot of rotation mass going on a lot of sh a lot of weight going on a lot of stuff going on over here all right so it's heavy you right? you, you gotta to move this around you know you gotta have some balls then to move it around like a little like a little like a little rc that's serious right there now what i've noticed is this engine is full of grass full of debris all right and it's even coming out of here so that is damn sorry about that uh my phone just cut off again my wife called me once again everyone's out there i'm gonna go have some they got a nice spread lay laid out there Everybody's chilling there. So real quick before I go over there, I'm just going to take this pinion gear out. I'm pretty sure the transmission is screwed. It's got to be the transmission. But there could be a chance that it could be the pinion or the spur gear. All right. So let me take a look. And I'm using this probably hopefully for the last time. I got to make my toolbox. I'm, I'm tired of this shit. All right. All right. Give me a few minutes. Let me take a look at this. Oh, holy crap well and if you mike uh, in the house oh he's over here giving me a hand holding on to this max t well look what i found people <laughs> this shit just got so hot all right in this tall grass and it melted the damn spur gears all right i can't <laughs> this is the first first spur gear i have not replaced it or changed it yet all right, it's been through a lot of beating, a lot of, uh, definitely a, a couple of gallons of uh, fuel already. Not just with the piston port, with this, with this modified reed case. All right, now this reed case that I have does not have the BR40 re reeds. It's a different style of reeds, different reeds on this one. So the new reed case coming out is going to be different. It's made just for that roving head only. All right, I just want to make it clear for that. But anyways, look at this. All right, so that means transmission is still, this transmission's got more lives in it. I have never taken this transmission apart. I've never greased it. I am aware that most of the time the diffs come very low. I know this one is thin as hell, look at this. I do not, this is, just, just to let you know, look how easy you can spin it. You can almost, that shit sucks. I'm, that's, that's power robbing. This thing has got bowls with with all like if i want i can get more power to the ground more power so you thicken up the diff oil right this has got nothing bro nothing nothing at all and it's got too much balls already so i'm i can't wait for all these improvements it might be too much for a baja i don't know all right so when we do new clutch new higher rpm spring thicker diff oil right off the bat this thing is going to be even more and then if i stick the the real true new broven all right when i say broven i don't say i don't mean roven all right i know sometimes in video broven roven if a newbie if, if if a newbie hears me say broven they're gonna think oh roven no not roven this is far this is far from a roven 45 piston port people this ain't no damn roven 45 piston port <laughs> this is a Bartolone slash Roven Reed case 45. That's what it is, people. And I do Broven because it's shorty. We, we, mo majority of us knows what Broven means. It's all because of thank. We have special thanks to Todd from RC Ohio. He came out with the Broven name. All right. It wasn't me. It was Todd from RC Ohio. It's pretty cool. I like that name, but. Some people's like, oh, don't say Broven because it sounds like Roven on video. People are going to, newbies are going to be mistaken from a, a modified recase to a stock piston port, you know. But majority of us know when I say Broven, you guys know what it means. Anyways, going to have to put that shit together. 
I'm gonna ask my uh, brother-in-law Danny that's got a buyer here if he has extra pinion and spur gear which I doubt I doubt it very much but he does have a Baja here uh, who knows if he has extra parts but um ah shit well we tried bro we tried and I can't waste any more time now with this I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my family so, uh, sorry about that yep then it's not here I, I, I took it out I took it out I had I had a pinion in Spurgy here for so long when when I had my when I unboxed the buggy, remember that black buggy that kept wheeling? That's with the stock 45 engine? Yeah. I had already that spur gear here. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this away. Unfortunately, I can't run it. The engine runs awesome. I cannot believe that transmission is still it's gonna take some more beatings. I'm not, guess what? I will not be doing the build now sh uh, shortly because of this. I'm gonna throw a new pinion, a new uh, spur gear, and we're gonna continue to beat the shit out of this. All right, the new engine is still not out yet. So why should I replace the chassis? There's nothing wrong with this chassis. I do want to replace this plate so bad. Look at look inside the engine. Look. Can you guys see that? It is packed with dirt. That's how hot that, that engine it is gonna run, but it runs good. So if I if it if I if I if it sounds good, if it looks good, it's good. You understand? That's how I tune. I don't tune by turns. How many turns this, how many turns that? No. I tune how I how it looks. How I hear it, how it sounds, and that's it. That's how I tune. Yeah, I have no idea how many turns. I don't know why people keep asking me. Oh, how many turns is this? That I'm like, Shh. I don't know. I don't. I don't go by turns. Who knows? I don't care if it has 15, 25, 105 turns. I don't care if it sounds good. If it looks good to me, that's good. That's that's why I have it mine tuned. That's you know that's how I tune. All right, let me put this away.